On this Mother's Day weekend, one mom who couldn't be prouder as her daughter is honored with an award long dreamed about. The subject, brown liquors, especially whiskey, which have enjoyed a big resurgence in America in the last decade. One particular brand of it, Bottled in Bond, is currently having its moment. Bottled in Bond is about as authentic as it gets. And the person at the forefront of this wave took us on a tasting tour when we visited Tennessee just before social distancing guidelines were put in place. For more than a century, the water flowing from this Cascade Spring in central Tennessee has been the raw material for one of the oldest whiskey brands in the country. Every day, we fill three of these. But when they added a young transplant from upstate New York to the mix, the result was a perfect blend. So this room is constantly turning over, and the timing of this is really critical. Once a year, Whiskey Advocate bestows the highest honor in the business. Whiskey Advocate's 2019 Whiskey of the Year is George Dickel, 13-year-old bottled in bond. Their latest winner, this mesmerizing concoction from 35-year-old Nicole Austin. I knew our whiskeys were amazing, and bottled in bond is just, it's the strongest statement you can make that this is our whiskey, we made it, and it's fantastic. Bottled in bond is old, but new again. The style of spirit traces back to 1897, when Congress passed a law trying to discourage counterfeit alcohol. To be bottled in bond, a liquor has to be at least four years old, 100 proof, and the product of one distillery at one location in one season. It lets a consumer know the producer had their hand on the product every step of the way. This is all whiskey. Mm -hmm. That's in here for anywhere between... It could be some of these are as old as 16 years old. You know, I wanted people to know that kind of my era would be all about authenticity and quality and transparency. And Bottle and Bond is the best proxy we have for that in American spirits. Nicole Austin's degree is in chemical engineering. But she was still searching for ways to make that a career when she walked into a Brooklyn bar out of college. The whiskey she was served changed everything. It's amazing how many people have those light bulb moments around really great wine or spirits or something yeah. that just like sets you off. I just hadn't considered it before. Like no one had said, also you could do this as a job. After first working at Kings County Distillery in Brooklyn, Austin spent a year and a half in Ireland until she was hired in 2018 by liquor giant Diageo to run the newly renamed Cascade Hollow Distillery in Tullahoma. Her name is now painted in big, bold letters outside. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's not embarrassing. It's your name, general manager and distiller. My mother's very proud. I think we've always been like a little bit of a sleeper. It, because in Tennessee, it's, it's Jack Daniels, like the giant monolith. Yeah. And everything else is like... I think people thought Tennessee whiskey was somehow different than bourbon. Tennessee whiskey is bourbon. It just has to be made in Tennessee and filtered through charcoal before it's aged. So this is some of the charcoal that we actually burn on site. It comes from sugar maple. So this is what goes in these vats over here. How much do you think about the fact that you don't look like the old time picture of somebody making Tennessee whiskey in 1880? I mean, that was always a fantasy anyways. There's always been women in this industry since the beginning. They just weren't the face on the bottle. And you're comfortable in that role? No, <laughs> not in the slightest. <laughs> really? No, but it's important. So it's like a very rich, funky, raw distillate. It actually won't become whiskey technically until after it goes in the cast. <laughs> this is straight booze. You smell? Don't drink it. Wow. <laughs> Making whiskey is not complicated. Take grain, ferment it, distill it, and let it age. But making great whiskey takes an additional step, blending. And Austin has become a savant. Each of these whiskeys went into the barrel the exact same way. And that's the mystery of maturation in whiskey. But we don't know exactly why that one smells like vanilla and why that one smells more like fruit. That's my job as a blender to find them at just the right time in their maturation when they're at their peak and blend those flavors together so that the sum of their parts is greater than the individual. 
After Austin's first creation at George Dickel won Whiskey of the Year, she's been hard at work trying to make a version that is even better. How much have you thought about how to follow that up? <laughs> yeah, no pressure, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. like your first at bat in the majors, yeah. you hit a home run. What do you do after that? Uh, yeah. Grand slam. Right? I guess so. That's the hope. I want this distillery to grow. I want people to know about this place and this whiskey. I want them to share my passion. This is the only way to do that. There you go. Oh, Dana, my lord, what do you, I, I see that. Whoa! Dana has, I, we're, we're missing some here, but Dana has some in the, in, 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 in the middle. Michelle already drank hers, apparently. Delicious. Yeah, Delicious. somebody did. <laughs> we, won't ask, we won't ask more, but guys, it was... A day uh, in the house, it was gone. Wow, okay. Um, we'll have to send some more over. Um, it, was, it was so much fun um, hanging out with, um, with Nicole. I mean, she's just, she's, she's just, she's fun to hang out with to begin with. But it's really fascinating yeah. tapping into her knowledge and, and what she's been able to curate and create at George Dickel and Bottled and Bond. Yeah, recognition is so fantastic. important. And yeah. she's getting it. A lot of other women are too. Well, if you've been checking out what's behind me right now,